Hey, what's up guys, JC. You know, uh, I've talked about it in the past, how the Dominican Republic and, and the whole, you know, those islands used to be a, an old um, traffickers route, you know, but it's, it's actually uh, opening up again. Um, today, the uh, Dominican Republic sees about an estimate of 120 metric tons of cocaine each year. The, uh, the, the role these, these islands play in the U.S. market has grown again over the past few years. In 2012, only 5% of drugs were passing through this old route. By 2015, it went up to 13%. So that means they're bringing it back to life. And, and I'm pretty sure the cartels have a huge uh, influence on this. So um, let's get into a little bit of history of, the, of these routes. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to give back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong Hey, what's up? JC with Wrong to Strong and I am Wrong to Strong. If you are new to my channel, new to my shenanigans, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. If you are part of my family. You guys already know. I put in the sixth row in the Suburban. Everybody, subanse la Suburban. Let's put some gas in it so we don't run out of gas in the wrong neighborhood and we take a road through memory lane. What's up, familia? I love you guys, thank you, welcome back. We're gonna talk about some old, some new, history, you know, future, Everything as you guys know in the past I've made videos about how you know Puerto Rico uh, Dominican Republic Cuba all these islands the Car Car Caribbean, you know me. I can't talk <laughs> Used to be the number one like They had landing zones on on these islands uh, when the Colombians, you know were really big and moving a lot of uh, cocaine through these routes into Florida, into the U.S. But after the Mexican cartels took over, uh, Mexico became the number one route, number one, you know, uh, transporter route. And uh, all the tunnels and, and all that shit started happening in, you know, Texas, California, Phoenix, all these routes, it opened up a whole different a whole different uh, area, but these uh, old routes are starting to get open again. And I want to talk about a little bit of the past. The man, the man who once was considered to be the most powerful drug, drug kingpin in Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic is actually home. He came home last month. Jose Figueroa Agosto was a he was trafficking thousands of kilos between Puerto Rico, New York, Venezuela, Dominican Republic at the beginning of this century. He, he started like everybody else at the bottom. He started as a boat runner and driver until 1993 when he carried out a hit on a truck driver that supposedly had said that he stole the shipment of cocaine. He was then arrested for that and sentenced to two and a I think 209 years in Puerto Rico. And I heard their jails out there are really bad too. But 
and in 1999 he escaped from prison and he just like walked out just walked out with a piece of paper so you know that he had some help from big people i mean for you to be able to walk out with a piece of paper from prison after you have 209 years uh you need some big big cash flow and some and some major influence in in your life <laughs> but uh after his escape he moved up really fast he became head of a major drug organization that moved 90 percent of all cocaine in puerto rico they pretty much called him the puerto rican scarface you know what i mean like he was he was the man and 2009 after following the lead the police found four million in cash and one million in watches after raiding a bunch of his apartments so after they raided his apartment and all this goes down I guess they start chasing him, but he got away that day until July 2010 when the DEA, the FBI, and the U.S. Marshals arrested him. They brought the big boys in. Figueroa was the most wanted fugitive in Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. After his arrest, those drug trafficking routes were up for grabs, and this is why I wanted to make this video. So the question is, who, who stepped up and took control over these small and important routes? I say small because it's not the main corridor no more like it, like it is, like, like it was back then. But it's still producing millions and millions and millions of dollars. Don't think for a minute that the Sinaloa cartel does, is not working in this area. They are everywhere, just like many other cartels. Like I've said it before in all my other videos, there's a hundred guys ready to give their life for money and power. That's the thing is that people don't realize how long the arm is of these organizations that step into other countries because just like the United States, other countries like to consume drugs. Other countries have drug dealers and other countries need these organizations to be able to supply them. So like I've said it before, with, with demand comes supply. So when one, one guy falls, another one takes the place and, and, and runs stuff, you know? Some last longer than others and some don't have a very uh, long run. It all comes down to how do you want to live your life? Do you want to be rich, but watch the have, have to watch your back, your door, your life? I've said it before. You live hard, life is easy. You live easy, life is hard. My name is JC. I am Ron the Strong. This is my channel, my shenanigans, my everyday life. If you guys haven't checked me out, I hope you like what I bring to the table. And uh, like I said it before, don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Live savage. You only have one life to live, man. But if you live it right, one life is all you need. I'll catch you guys in the rebound.